all right now uh, let's um, do an example okay let me write a question down here um, right okay so it's gonna be a question which says write a menu driven program to do the following so this is the exercise okay what do I want to do I want to enter a student of course whenever it is one it's gonna be a many different program you're gonna ask the user what he wants to do so if it is if he enters one which means he wants to enter a student if he enters two he wants to display uh, total students okay um, number three he wants to if if I say third one that's gonna he wants to display the males um, number four let's say he wants to you know display the females and number five then it's exit okay he just wants to exit out from that so it's a menu driven program to do the same okay now what do I do is let's say let's start writing the code for this I'm gonna save it as you gonna you know you can just save it as anything let's say you know a student menu student underscore menu and save it of course I will have to use the student class which has been created on the side so of either I can do import the student class student class uh, sorry the student I can either do a student import student which is import this particular py file I can import that as a whole or I can import from student which I'm gonna do now I'm gonna say from student import capital student alright and I'm gonna create you know an empty list of students currently it's empty but I need to keep adding those students out there let me say you know I'm doing so it's a it's a completely the program must be written in this you don't have to modify anything else from anywhere anywhere else which means you have to write this program here so if you have to write this program here you need to say you know you need to create your own functions out here whenever us whenever a new student needs to be called let's say def create new student we are going to create a new function for it and let me say over here I whenever a new you know so basically whenever he enters a one I want to create a new student so that time I need to ask the user for giving the name you know enter enter your name and that is a string so it's okay roll I'll say input or int turn it into int and then input it and then say enter roll of course then I have to, I haven't closed the int function and then of course I need to ask him for his gender it's gonna oh, sorry it's not an int it's a string itself so I can just leave it that way I can say enter your gender and lastly I can tell enter his marks so I'm gonna say input input enter your marks right cool and and what I'm gonna do is let's say because and then of course I need to create a student out of all this information which has been entered so s is gonna be equal to a new student which means I have to use the class name for it and then enter the name role gender Oh, it's name first then it is gender I'm so sorry then it is a role and then it's the marks oh that's the order here okay so remember that and then of course after I'm done with that I need to append the new student that is there I need to put it in this list which means I can just say students dot append the new student that is s I need to append that okay now let me say I'm gonna def I can just say 
you know this is another it is another thing just to tell me what is the number of students which are there for now all my students are going to be there in the students list yes or no so can i just return the length of the list yeah i can do that or even i can return the count that's okay but i can for now i can say return len of students it will return the length of that then if i say i need to get you know the males which means i need to say def get males and i say you know for every student i'm going to define a for loop and get all this for every student in students if so now i have the student in my this thing if student dot i can check his gender if student dot gender is equal to equal to what is equal to equal to either a male or a female okay is a male then what should i do i should do student student dot i'll say student dot okay so i'll want to display the details of the student oh so i need to display the details of the student um uh, which means um uh, let me say either i can do one thing or let me do one thing i'll just define one more function here in the student dot py let me say the function name is something called as display details of you know whenever that whenever this function is called it will display all the details of the student so i don't i just need to you know write yourself for now because rest everything is going to be there what do i need to do print print i can just uh, i can just print the name okay so i'm going to say print name that uh, print name okay let me let me do it in the format way let me do the pythonic way instead of going each way down print name and i'm going to say name uh, of course it's going to be zero row that's going to be okay see if you want to print it one after the other which means i want to print it that way then i can just put a comma and i'm going to just say self dot name right because it's going to be that particular argument and then i'm going to print row which is going to be self dot row then i'm going to print the you know gender okay comma self dot gender and i do a print which says gender and then i say marks and i say self dot marks oops yeah and of course i can save this out the student dot py so anytime you know i get a mail i can just print the details of that particular student by calling this particular function which is there in class student so which means i can just say